Hello, Sp enthusiasts. I'm gonna take you on a little journey today, hopefully without showing you too much of like the messy side of my office. But I have this like crazy necklace that sometimes I wear to like state championships or world championships or whatever when I go. And I get a lot of people staring at me for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go through my necklace and show you what this means. Like why I have this ridiculously huge and heavy charm necklace. Cause it is really crazy and it's, it's heavy. Like when I wear it, like I do not forget that I'm wearing it. One of the things about this is that it's probably gonna end up being a lot more personal video than some of my other ones. So if you're like, if you're just like, no, I just want to see fun color guard twirls and you teach me how to do like drop spins and stuff, that's fine. Like go watch those videos. You don't need to be here. It's fine. I don't mind if this video doesn't get a million hits. I just want to show you what this is all about to me. All right, so here we go. Now I'm not going to start like from one end and work my way around. I'm going to try and go kind of chronologically because these are not in chronological order and that kind of bothers me but it would be a lot of work to fix them at this point I am type A but I'm not that type A so each of these rings represents like one section like one team that I taught for or one guard that I was on and like all the charms on that section go with my years with them okay so this not only is every show I've been in but it includes all of the shows that I've written let's start here so here is my high school so this was my sophomore year which was my first year on color guard it looked like a little robot to me I learned later that it was not a robot but we did Mr. Roboto as my the show my sophomore year so this was Mr. Roboto and then my junior year we did Sing 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 and Georgia and it was a very happy show so I have my happy face I love doing that show and then my senior year we did Children of Sanchez Land of Make-Believe in Malaguena and that is what this is for. We actually used fans and did a fan dance during Malaguena, and that was so fun. And then my senior year was the first year that my high school ever had a winter guard. We did the show Toxic by Britney Spears, and that's what that one represents. We were working on a love potion. We were a bunch of mad scientists. If I ever find the video for that, I will post it, because that was a fun show. This is also my senior year. We did like a little kids camp for all the elementary and middle school students, and we did a little less conversation by Elvis, so I've got a microphone for that. Then, my college years. So after that, of course, I went to college. I was in Marching Mizzou, and we did a new show every two weeks, but there was one show in particular that we did for like four weeks straight because we used it for a game, and then we used it for an exhibition performance at BOA, and it was the Pirates show. So I've got this beautiful saber for the Pirates show, and then my freshman year was also the last year of Mizzou Winter Guard for a while. And Mizzou Winter Guard actually just came back as Ionic Winter Guard. So I'm very glad to see that they've got some stuff going on again. We did a show called Letters from Home. I really loved that show. It was really meaningful, even though we did not place very well with it. And then after that, my sophomore year, we did, uh, I joined an independent guard called Zero Gravity. And we did a show to the music uh, the song dress has always been my strongest suit. It's called my strongest suit. And we wore these purple dresses and they were velvet and they just like swung a lot. And I still have mine. I It doesn't fit, but it's at my dad's house. And then I have a tiger here because Mizzou, we were the Missouri Tigers. And then, of course, I went on to March Drum Corps, marched with the Memphis Sound in 2005. We did a show called One Hot Night. And that's why I have that because it's night. I also was in I&E and I, I found this little tank top. And it looks a lot like the tank top I wore, at least I feel like. And so that's my my I and E performance was this like lingerie type tank top. I did this song Around the World by ATC and it was really fun to do I and E. I would definitely want to do that again. And then I marched Blue Stars. We did the Gift of Freedom. It was such an awesome show. I don't even feel like I appreciated it at the time how much of an incredible show that was. The way I fundraised when I was marching in drum corps was that I made quilts. So one of the favorite quilts that everyone who was like DCI alumni, especially Blue Stars alumni, liked to buy was the Lone Star quilt. It was a really difficult quilt to make, but 
I did that and so I have a charm for my quilting for core campaign in fact if you go on the DCI website and you look up quilting for core you can probably still find my article about it and then my age out year was 2008 I did end up breaking my shoulder and I was unable to march my age out because of it so that kind of stunk but I still went ahead and left this charm on there just because that was that was the year that I would have aged out anyways so when I started teaching go down this way like I said we're not going in any sort of we're going to try and go in chronological order. We're not going in order of, <laughs> of what these charms are on this necklace. So when I started teaching, the first guard I taught at regularly, um, I, I did start doing clinics and, and things and start doing choreography at different schools when I was in drum corps. But the first guard I taught regularly was my own high school guard. So these are from Liberty High School. I don't exactly remember the, the order that all of these went in, but we did a show called The Big Premiere. And I wanted that to be like an old time movie camera and I couldn't find a charm that was an old time movie camera. So I have this cute little camera here for the big premiere. It was all movie theme songs. Um, and then we did the Blues Brothers. And originally I wanted it to be sunglasses, but I kind of thought this was a little more unique to have a tie. Even though it's not really the Blues, the Blues Brothers tie, but I just thought it was a unique one to look at. And then this was the Rolling Stones, of course. This one was so hard to find. Like I, you wouldn't think it would be. I ended up finding it on Etsy though, so that was cool. This one is from the Liberty Eagles Big Band, and all of these so far that I've shown you on this ring have been fall shows, because that's what we had, but my last year I taught there, I started a winter guard, it's called the Star of Liberty Winter Guard, we did Come Sail Away, so I've got this little compass for like sailing, and with Come Sail Away, you know, there's actually a video of it here on the YouTube channel, so that was one of the first videos I posted way, way back a long time ago, and I've left it up because I just... Even though it wasn't the best show, it wasn't the best written show, the kids didn't have the best training or anything like that, but I'm still really proud of it because it's the first one like I did all by myself. Okay, going on to, we'll go back over this way. Um, I taught drum corps for a little while and I have this USA because we traveled the whole country and I just really thought that was a cool thing to have. Um, and then I taught at Legends Drum Corps for a couple years. So this is Legends from 2014 when we did the La Cathedral show. And it was just a really awesome experience to get to go back and give back to the community that shaped me so much. And then this was The Climb. It's a mountain, if you can see it there. And I was a little skeptical of this show at first when we started talking about it because I wasn't a big Miley Cyrus fan at the time. But it really is a beautiful song and it really ended up being a awesome show. I just absolutely loved that. Okay, we're gonna go all the way over here because this is more of my teaching. So this ring here is the uh, Willow Springs High School, which I used to teach Willow Springs High School. I taught there for three years and we the first one the first show I did with them was the Oh Brother Where Art Thou show. I wanted to have a ball and chain, but I couldn't really find a ball and chain. So I have handcuffs instead. Oh Brother Where Art Thou. We did a show called Heart. So that's self-explanatory. And then we did a show called Under Construction. I actually made their costumes for that one. So that was, I was super involved with that show. Uh, this is a guard that I did down in Florida. I used to teach at Bell High School in Florida and I would drive down there two or three times a year every year and see these wonderful ladies that were on this team and um, we really grew that guard a lot in those few short years that I was there. So this was the Earth, Wind and Fire show and I have like it's the Earth for the Earth, Wind and Fire part um, and then I have an eagle here because we did the Eagles show um, and then this show it's a dove because we did a show called Flight of My Heart and this is actually another one that you can find on the Spintronics channel. So if you look up the Bell Golden Guard, Flight of My Heart, I love that show so much. Uh, my friend Jen and I wrote it together and it just came out way, way more beautiful than either of us I think had imagined. And then they did a show called Tribute, which was sort of an American tribute to World War II. And so we have that patriotic one. And then they did another show called Shake It Off. And I have this devil's eye because basically this show starts out with these girls that were supposed to be like being told they had to be a certain way and then they ended up shaking it off and showing their true selves 
and it was wonderful. So this was like the sort of devil's advocate that they had to, um, they had to find a way to be themselves. Okay, going to this ring. This ring is the one, oh man. <laughs> This ring kind of has a lot of the single shows I did where, with teams that I only taught for like a year or two. So this was, um, this is Shamu. So Shamu is the Spintronics mascot and there's a really long story behind him, but this represents that whole story and it unfolding there. This one is the shark charm because there was a school in Florida that I taught for and they did West Side Story. So this was the sharks and I actually originally thought about putting like a shark and a jet together, but I have just so, so many, so, so many. Um, I did a show for Potosi one year called A Feast for the Eyes. And it was a show about, um, it actually, that wasn't the name of the their actual show, but it was a show that followed a marching band from band camp through competition season and like perfected their show. So like their opener was like crazy and they were dropping their flags all the time. And then they like got really good by the end of the show. Uh, this was a, this dragon was because I did a show for Mountain Grove called Jewel and Dragon. And that was like the band directors last year before she retired. Um, and then I have this puzzle piece charm and I remember being like, Oh, I need a puzzle piece. And I, cannot for the life of me remember why this is here. Like I even looked, I have like a list of these that I keep just in case I do forget some of them, but I even look to make sure of why. And it doesn't say on the list. It just says a puzzle piece charm with a question mark next to it. This was a summer camp we did called Guardians of Spin. So Guardians of Spin was a summer camp in Kansas City that Spintronics purchased and we held camp there for a few years. Our first show we did with them was called Half-Life. So I have this Lambda, which is like the physics symbol for a half-life. We did a show called Go Do. So I have a traffic light for Go. There was, uh, there was one year where we kind of did a choose your own adventure sort of thing. And the choosing, like each instructor got to choose their piece. And the piece that I chose was to do a song from the TV show Smash. And so I have like, this is supposed to be a little uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for Smash. And then we did uh, a song called Worth It. And it was kind of about like walking your way up. And this is, it's kind of hard to see what this is, but it is a staircase. It's a spiral staircase. You're like looking down the middle of the spiral staircase. And at the end of Worth It, we built this staircase and you can actually find a video videos of most of these actually on the on the Spintronics channel but this one we built a staircase out of people at the end and this one girl climbed up it like the smallest girl we had she walked up it it was really cool we're getting down to the wire here these are the charms for Ava High School I've been teaching at Color Guard at Ava High School I think for 10 years now so I have a lot of charms on here I might even I'm, I'm missing some I'm missing some. I'm not up to date on all of these, but I'm working on it. And I don't know, again, that these are in order. So I'm going to try. I think they might be in order or they're close to it, but I'm going to try. So this was the first year I taught at Ava. This was 2010. I did Les Mis with them. And so we have the French flag. And then in 2011, we did Wicked. So I have a witch. 2012 was the Dreamer. And this charm is really like huge like annoyingly huge I really like the design of it but I didn't realize how big it would be when I bought it so after that we did the heart of madness so we have the raven from Edgar Allan Poe 2014 we did pandemic so we were like a zombie virus was taking over the following year was Antissa because we were in anticipation and these are out of order again but Antissa we have this clock you're anticipating something coming up and then in, in 2016, I was gone because I was in the Olympics. But then in 2017, I came back and we did the Ugly Duckling. And so I have a little swan for the Ugly Duckling show. And I don't have last year's show. So last year we did the Ashes show. And I still have not found that. I really want to find one of those little like posy masks the doctors wore that had the big long white noses on them. I think we have three rings left. We're so close. Okay, I want to show you this ring first of the three. So these are kind of like even more special, I feel like, because these are the Spintronics camp charms. 
So this one was the very first Spintronics camp ever. We did a show, uh, we did for the first camp, there wasn't really a theme, but we did a, a song called Spin. So I just kind of got some music notes because it was like when the music feels like this, you know, you just got to spin and got to go. Um, I really like that song. It's by Darren Hayes if you want to look it up. Then we did a song called Into the Rush. And one of the lyrics talked about, uh, you know, finding your own rainbow and some, something along those lines. I don't know. It's been a while. In 2011, we did Firework. Again, all of these are on the, the YouTube channel. In fact, I think they're all in one playlist together if you want to look it up. So we did Firework, Katy Perry. Uh, this one was Unbreakable. It's a barbell. For our five-year anniversary, we did Hall of Fame. So I've got a little trophy for Hall of Fame. In 2014, we did a song called Disparate Youth. So I wanted to have like a mother and a baby. And the only one I could find was like Jesus and Mary. I, got, I, took, I took the youth part and I ran with it. We did a show, we did a, a camp theme called Blink. And it was kind of like about, you know, life, how life has gone in a blink of an eye and you should use it. So we have an hourglass to cover that. Confident. We have a crown because we all got crowns. So that's our confident. And then in 2017, which was the last Spintronics Weekend Camp, the last full on Spintronics Weekend Camp, we did a show called Beautiful. And so we have this for being beautiful. So does that mean Spintronics Weekend Camp is done forever? I don't know. We might do it again sometime. Um, I'm really enjoying all these single day clinics and I really love our summer camp too. So this, this one here, you'll notice only has two. This is our summer camp. So our very first summer camp we did uh, called World Traveler. And so we have a little passport and it's so cute. It has these little actual like tiny printed pages with tiny, I mean, they're all the same, but it's just a cute little thing. And then this year we did Heaven. So I have kind of like an angel wing to show off that we did that Heaven theme show which that's actually something I wanted to do for a Winter Guard show real bad for a long time. And so I kind of got a little bit of satisfaction out of being able to do it for a camp theme. Uh, okay, so these two actually go together because I originally had, had I wanted handcuffs real bad and I couldn't find handcuffs anywhere. And I finally did when I was looking for the other, I guess I showed you the other handcuffs I have, but I had keys originally. So we did a show, Prisoner, and the, the guard actually spun in handcuffs. And then the key there at the end, there was a flag with the key on it and they like escaped from jail. So that was the very first Winter Guard show that Spintronics ever did was Prisoner. And this, like, I hope you guys watch the show this year because for a 10 year anniversary, we are looking at Prisoner a lot. So that's just a little Easter egg for you. It's coming up. 2012, we did the Breast Cancer Tribute Show. The Pink Alliance, I have that. This used to be a lot more pink. The color kind of faded from it. In 2013, we did Motorbike Melody. So I've got this little motorcycle here. 2014, oh my gosh, was Bunheads and B-Boys. So I got some ballet slippers. I found some way cuter ballet slipper charms over the years. But the thing is, like, I feel like this show ended up being a lot more of a hot mess than I wanted it to be. Like in my head it was great and then like we just didn't quite execute like and me as a show designer and whatnot did not execute well the way that I saw everything in my head. So I'm like you know what I'm just gonna leave that as this charm and instead of replacing it with a cuter one. 2015 I feel like I came into my own as a show designer. It was a lot of fun. We did the Shatter Me show and Shatter Me if you watch the music video is in a snow globe and so this is it's a crystal ball but I feel like it's kind of like a snow globe. 2016 was kind of a new era. Why on earth? This is way out of order. Shoot what did I do? So 2016 was the spectrum show so we have like the light going into the spectrum and going through and coming out the other side as a rainbow. I love this show so much. I thought about it for so long and I feel like it was really designed well and everything. It just, we weren't ready. She wasn't ready for this show and maybe someday we'll revisit it again because that just, I loved that show. 2017, of course, was our very first time of winning state championships. We did the Brazil show, The Girl from Ipanema. I don't have a charm for 2018 because I'm really picky and I have not found exactly the one I want yet, but when I do, I will add it on here. And then in 2019, which is why I'm like, why is this over here? <sighs> we did Show Me. 
and show me of course was a show about Missouri and I still feel like I want to do a video talking about this show a lot more even though it's already passed and it's gone and we're done with it I just there's so much symbolism and so many things in this show about our team that I feel like people have missed and so I just wish I could go back and revisit that and maybe I will maybe I'll do a video and talk about it some more and explain so because I do this and what have you, I, I just, I love this thing. And like I said, I wear it usually to state championships or to world championships or whatever, no matter whether I'm teaching or just going to watch or whatever. But this is kind of like, it's kind of like I get to take all of my shows with me all the time. All my shows plus this puzzle piece, which I don't remember why I have the puzzle piece, but I'll figure it out. And maybe, I don't know, I'll post it in the description or something when I do figure it out. Something else I do is for my seniors at Ava because I've been teaching at Ava a long time I like to go through and get them I do I do order some of my my charms from Made on Terra I really like theirs they have they are the ones that make the charms with the little pictures in them like this and I like the consistency of that so when I have seniors these are like the senior gifts I make for my Ava kids especially if they've done all four years and I'll get a charm for each so I've got like a duckling there for the for the swan show and then like I've got the biohazard for the for the uh, pandemic show. And then this one was for the show. I actually, this was the show I missed in 2016. It was the broken show, but I, I wasn't there, but I, but she was in the show. So this is for that senior. And then this set, I've got like, I've got a Raven and the biohazard show. This one actually, so I have not been able to find this senior because I didn't get to see her at graduation to give this to her. And I still have, this is like that's the Raven and Wicked and Pandemic and Dreamer. So this is like somebody who graduated way back in 2014 and I still haven't found her to give her this. I know she went to school and girl, Katie, if you if you like see this, send me your address because I don't know how to get in touch with you because you ain't on Facebook or well, we're not Facebook friends anyway. So I want to add one charm to this today. I'm going to show you. This one is a very, very special charm to me. So I marched a couple of years with the St. Louis Pride Color Guard up in St. Louis, Missouri, and I did the Pride Parade with them, and the very first year that I did it, our Color Guard was right in front of a group from the Catholic Church that was in downtown St. Louis, and I'm Catholic, if you don't know, and so this was kind of something, like, like all growing up, I was always, like, taught that, you know, being gay is wrong, and gay people are bad, and blah, 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 and... So that was all coming from the church. So it was very conflicting for me growing up learning, hey, be nice to everyone and love everybody, but also, like, unless they're gay, then just, you know, whatever. But anyway, for me to see a Catholic church at a Pride Fest, like, celebrating unity and celebrating pride and everything, I just, I was really touched by that. And they were giving out these little cards and I'll go ahead and like show you this because it's from St. Stan. They have Instagram. They have Facebook. They got their phone number on there. So if you want to get in touch with the Catholic Church with open doors and minds, St. Stanislaus in St. Louis. So anyway, the, this was actually like taped to the card. And I was just like, oh my God, you don't even know. Like I collect charms. So I'm going to add this to my necklace right now. There she is. Now my work of art is a little more artful. So now I hope that whenever you guys see me wearing this and you see how freaking ridiculous it looks, you can realize like it's not just this stupid thing. It's like, like even though it kind of looks like this big mess of stuff up here, it's it's like really super meaningful. And like, what I'd really love is to know like, what's your favorite one? And you know, if you see me in a competition, tell me, be like, oh, hey, I really love your dove charm or something, you know, tell me what your favorite one is. And if I'm not gonna see you at a competition, first of all, I'm sad, cause I wish I could meet every single one of you. I, I just, you're just all so wonderful. And second of all, like you can comment and tell me like which one is your favorite. 
is your favorite charm. So now I'm gonna go because this video is way too long and I have a feeling like nobody's gonna watch this far. So if you do watch this far, let me know. Let me know if you finish the whole video and we'll talk and it'll be really fun. So anyway, guys, make sure you share this with your friends if you have friends who like to watch this kind of thing. And I always do color guard on a team because it's a lot more fun that way.